of uh, uh, echoes of George Floyd in Brazil. There was a, um, a, a black man that was beaten to death by uh, police in Brazil or over Thanksgiving. Uh, so about a month ago this happened. Uh, Unicorn Riot covered it. And I apologize, it's taken me a month to talk about it. Um, I didn't see this being talked about in any other real, real media outlets. Uh, but, uh, yeah, black man gets beaten to death by police in Brazil. Protests, you know, most of them peaceful. Most of them are demonstrations. Uh, and the crazy part is it happened on a day where they were saluting and co- commemorating the black population in Brazil. Because Brazil, much like America, has crazy racial divide, has crazy economic divide. Brazil is an authoritarian country. Jair Bolsonaro is is the abject definition of a military strongman. He's an authoritarian. He is a dictator. That's what dictators look like. And America just has many of them in various positions. I.e. Mitch McConnell and Nancy Pelosi. Some of them got violent. You know, uh, it's unsure whether the police caused or were the spark to said violence. Um, but this is no different than, than the, you know, the actions that led to the, the growing Black Lives Matter movement, the defund the police movement in America. Brazil is probably worse than America in, in that sense. I'm not sure uh, how many of their killer cops... Uh, get let go, but in America we have a lot. Um, actually, Mint Press News put out a pretty good uh, article that breaks down uh, how many people are, are, are killed by uh, police shootings, how many people are victims of uh, police murder in, uh, in the United States. And it's, uh, it's, done, it's done by this organization called Mapping Police Violence. And they point out that uh, death by cop is the leading cause of death for black males in America. Leading cause of death for black males in America is death by police, is, is, is being murdered by the police. And we currently have a president-elect uh, that wrote the crime bill, which is part of the reason why the leading cause of death for black men in this country is the police. And now you would figure, well, that's not that big of a problem, Krish, because you know the cops are taken care of. They they get they get what they're what they are what they're they get what they deserve. One point seven percent of killer cops get charged with a felony. It might be less. In Brazil, I'm not sure. In the U.S., about 1,066 people have been killed by uh, by police. Uh, in the U.S., we have seen uh, slogans like "Black Lives Matter," "To Fund the Police," uh, "A Cab," things of that sort. Right. In Brazil, the echoes are "Stop killing us." It's not over. I want an end to the military police. And Barack Obama thinks that they're just being too loud with their quippy slogans. You know, the slogans have too much quip on them. Uh, mer- they, it's, it's, there, there's too much miracle quip on these, on these fucking slogans. And they would really do better if they stayed quiet and let the military police do their job. And, you know, if you politely come out to the person that is threatening to... Uh, beat you to death and say, hey, if you could please stop that, I'm about to die. And they would go, oh my gosh, I didn't realize, you know, instead of this uh, stop killing us nonsense that these, you know, Brazilian protesters, I mean, that's not how you win hearts and minds by telling people not to kill you. That will lead them to kill you. That's that's Barack Obama slowly transforming into Jerry Seinfeld. Uh <laughs> Statements like that from Obama and how Joe Biden, uh, there's a leaked 
video that I'm going to cover on, on the live stream uh, about how Joe Biden blatantly disrespected black civil rights activists uh, and yelled at them. I'm going to cover that on Friday, but um, that's how I know the next administration is not going to do anything about these grim statistics. If you want to, if you really want to be this force for good, and and put these you know regime change kind of uh, stipulations in certain bills, right? Like the stimulus bill we saw. Uh, why don't you run a coup to get rid of Jair Bolsonaro? Why don't you have a war to help women get to, get rights in Saudi Arabia? And and you know stop human rights violations in that country. The next administration does not give a shit about racial strife at home or abroad. They give a shit about a country that is going to let them come in and perpetuate more capitalism. Take whatever resources they want. And they need to be able to be this authoritarian force at home and away that's why the police are doing what they're doing. That's why 1.7% get barely sentenced to anything. Just saw Tamir Rice. He was a kid with a toy gun and he got killed. And that cop, no sentence. Breonna Taylor. The guy's getting convicted for accidentally shooting a door. Not murdering this woman. The cop that killed George Floyd is getting a lesser sentence. The next administration, I'm, I hope I'm wrong, but I'm going to say this now, is going to do dick all for the issue of police brutality. Tamir Rice was under Obama's watch, under Biden's watch. So was Eric Garner, so was Mike Brown. So there were hundreds and thousands of people that got killed by the police. It's going to be up to us. And we're going to have to get things done on a local level. So support those those actions. The other thing I want to talk about, too, is the Breathe Act. Uh, I want to look into that. Uh, a few people sent me that a while back. And that's it's been on the agenda to talk about for a while. Um, I don't know what the status of it is or anything, but I remember looking into it a little bit and it was, it was something worth talking about. So maybe I'll bring that up on, on Friday's live stream as well. But I don't think Joe Biden is going to do anything to heal the country. I think Joe Biden, uh, is a, a man that has wanted power for a very long time and he finally got it. And now he's going to show us what he's going to do with it. And it's not going to be altruistic. It's not going to be noble. It is going to be to ensure that him and his corrupt crony kids uh, have a leg up over everybody else. And they will perpetuate more wars. And they will perpetuate police violence. And they will continue to perpetuate uh, the, the income and racial divide in this country. We, uh have to be against that support your local protests support the people that say defund the police hold your politicians feet to the fire if you were somebody that voted for joe if you're somebody that campaigned for biden you should be outraged at the way that he reacted to those civil rights readers you should be outraged at the fact that he's staying silent over the bullshit no sentence for the cops that murdered a 12 year old child And you should demand that he wants to, and if he, and if he doesn't do that, then you know what? He, he's not worth assault being a president. He shouldn't be your president. Neither should Trump, but maybe that'll get people to open their eyes and realize what the system actually is. And that there is no, there is no one man that's going to be the savior. It's going to take a collective effort for all of us to do our parts. 
Hey, what's up everybody? Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed the content in this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. My content is highly suppressed because this is not topics of conversation that, uh, that the corporate mainstream media really wants to, to, to address here. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Uh, sign up for my email list. Uh, and that way you'll get weekly uh, uh, emails with all of the podcasts and all of the videos that I put out there. Um, and make sure you go to my website and follow me there, uh, krishmohanhaha.com. That's going to be your one-stop shop for all things Krish Mohan. That's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A.com. See you in the next video.